And new numbers are out on the Small Business Optimism Index showing an uptick in confidence, but still historically low. But how does it relate to our local economy? Fox 14's Joe Massey joins us live in the studio with more. That's right, Nick. The current small business optimism number is 93.8, up from two and a half years ago, which was 89. While small business confidence is trending up, it's still down historically from a high of 109 back in August of 2018. Today, I spoke with a local small business owner about the climate for doing business in the area. All the stickers and artwork is locally made. 21-year-old so Hartley Aronson is the owner of the Good Days shop in downtown Monroe. All the clothing that we sell here is vintage, so it's from the good old days. And also, when you come into the store, we just kind of want to daze you with good vibes and happiness. She has been in business for a little more than two years and has this to say about her journey. Okay, so when I was in high school, I started selling vintage clothing. I would do local pop-ups, local events, and it just kind of blossomed into something that I honestly never imagined it would, but it did. And um, at the beginning, of course, there's always going to be struggles, but they have been so worthwhile because here I am today. I'm a member of the, um, the art crawl. I do a bunch of local events. I've met a lot of great artists that we host here in the shop, and um, I wouldn't trade it for anything. She has some words of wisdom to share with folks looking to start a business of their own. It's, it can be very intimidating, especially being young and being a woman, and maybe you don't have any experience in this field, but as you learn and as you go, it's so worthwhile. Roy Heatherly, president and CEO of the Monroe Chamber, says the area is fertile ground for starting a business because people are working together. Between the police jury, between Mayor Ellis, Mayor Mitchell, Mayor Talbert, Mayor Brown, everybody's really working together. You're seeing a lot of federal capital infrastructure dollars and all that coming in. But he says a struggle with the economy will always exist. Uh, I think our local businesses, as they battle the economy, which inflation's up and all those things, I think there's an air of optimism amongst our businesses. You can feel it. Monroe population is up. I think you see a lot of good traffic. I think they're optimistic going into the holidays. Other factors also have an impact on businesses. Closing on houses or house loans, I think that impacts us a lot. It impacts the stock market. I think it has a trickle effect throughout everything. As for Hartley, she says she's glad about the route she's taken for herself. I could have had student loans or I could have had a business loan and I chose the business loan and so yeah I mean with anything when it, it takes money to make money. She hopes that others will find the path to success like she is enjoying at the Good Days Vintage Shop. For more information about starting a small business visit myarclimist.com and click on this story for links. Live in the studio for local news that matters I'm Joel Massey.